This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. I've been a fan of the huge snakes ever since I was 15 years old when I kept my first Burmese python. And now I work with beautiful animals like Lucy here, my 19-foot tiger reticulated python. And this week's show is going to be all about the top 10 largest snakes on the planet. It's going to be awesome. My name is Brian Barczyk. I'm no zoologist, just a guy with a passion for animals. And that passion often takes me on animal adventures around the world. So really when we're talking about the top 10 largest snakes on the planet, there's going to be a lot of variability, right? Now that has a lot to do with the fact that snakes vary in size from different localities. And sometimes even animals from the same litter can sometimes get certain sizes. So certainly I'm going to start off with the boa constrictor. That doesn't mean that it's the 10th largest, it just means it's probably in the top 10. Now certainly this guy's only about a year and a half or two years old. It's a Sunglow Arabesque boa and it's really just a pup right now. It's it's going to eventually get close to 10 feet. And that's right, some boa constrictors can really exceed 12, 13. I've even heard of 14 plus foot boa constrictors. Although anything over about 8 or 9 foot is pretty rare. Boa constrictors certainly get large and they're really hefty body. But the thing that's great about boa constrictors is number one, they have all kinds of great paint jobs, just like the Sun Glow Arabesque, as well as the fact that they're typically super docile. So if you're ever thinking about getting into some of those giant snakes, a boa constrictor is a great option. Certainly one of the larger venomous snakes would happen to be a black mamba. They can get really large, over 10 feet, although they're a slender body snake. So you don't think of them as a monster snake, but trust me, they're a handful to handle. I tell you what, I've had a couple encounters, one in South Africa of a wild black mamba. I want to show you guys a little exclusive clip from my future documentary, Brian in the Wild. Now this isn't the actual clip, but it gives you an idea of what happened. Black mambas are pretty awesome and they certainly are a really large snake. So Warren, is it pretty often for snakes to come in this area? Yeah, in this area it's quite common. There's the guy. All right. Is there a snake here? Yeah, there's a snake here. Can you see it? It's a big snake. Oh, oh yes, Brian, look, it's a mamba. Oh, this is sketchy. Oh my God. I tell you what, Warren, I absolutely love snakes, but I wouldn't want to to wake up to this in my rafters. Woo! Woo! Oh, it's really sketchy. Hang on a second here. I can't see where his head is here. Okay, just get, get in there. Okay. Hang on a second. Is it coming Okay, you got him. You got him. Okay, watch out. Just lift up this part. I'll help you there. Just to lift that. Yep, it's coming out. Okay. Get him on okay, the ground here. Okay. I got it. Oh. All right, and go away we go. Woo! Good job. All right, the black mamba. Take a look at this, guys. The African black mamba. Woo! What an amazing snake. I've always wanted to catch one of these guys. These guys are probably one of the most feared reptiles in South Africa. But the truth is, they're really not responsible for that many snake bites. These guys are an extremely shy snake. And as long as you're not messing with it like I am right now, you're really pretty safe. Of course, these guys have neurotoxin as well as some cardiotoxin. There's a good chance you might be dead if you ever get bit by something like this. But they're also the second largest venomous snake in the world, only after the King Cobra. So I'm gonna pass this off to Warren, who works with snakes like this all the time. So I want the snake to actually reverse on its own as it's doing right here. So it actually wants to pull back holding it very lightly. Just want to pinch just behind those jaw bones and then using these extra fingers because they're so strong, they can just pull right out of your grip. You have to be prepared for that. Now, it's quite a task to put a snake that's like a coiled up spring into a bag. And you can yeah, actually just see one, one of the fangs sticking out. Very often people, once they put in the bag, they get bitten through the bag. Right. So just as a safety, you just let the snake bite because it's, it's in a situation where it's really stressed out right exactly. now. He doesn't know that we don't want to hurt the snake. So he's going to be willing to bite anything he wants. And of course, you can see that black mouth right there. That is certainly why they call him the black mamba. Next up, amethystine pythons. 
Amethystine pythons are named for their amethyst-like color. They are found in Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and Australia. Being one of the largest snakes in the world, specimens have been reported to measure over 28 feet in length. Although this is probably not true, and these are just field measurements. Typically, field measurements are always way over exaggerated, and nothing over 19 foot has ever been verified. Although not authenticated, some unconfirmed reports have these guys at over 200 pounds. The Owen Pelly Python. I had the opportunity to mess with these majestic animals three years ago in Australia. The Owen Pelly Python is one of the rarest pythons on the planet. They're the second largest snake in Australia, just behind the scrub python. Owen Pelly pythons can reach 16 feet in length, but their bodies are more slender compared to other large pythons. These pythons have huge eggs with huge babies hatching at just under three feet in length. Gavin Bedford, a well-known herpetologist, continues to work with the Aboriginal people of Western Arnhem Land to save the Owen Pelly python through captive breeding in other conservation projects. I tell you what guys, the one snake that always just amazes me is the next up on the list, and that would be the King Cobra. I've had the pleasure of working with these guys several times, and there's nothing like the rush of working with the king of all snakes. In my opinion, the most intelligent snake on the planet. The King Cobra is certainly the largest venomous snake in the world. They're found on the Indian subcontinent as well as parts of Southeast Asia. These guys will reach lengths between 8 and 13 feet in the wild, with the longest captive King Cobra recorded at a length of 18.8 feet long. This highly venomous snake can deliver enough venom in a single bite to kill 20 people or take down an adult elephant. King Cobras are incredible hunters with excellent vision and are able to spot their prey from up to 300 feet away. Oftentimes, the general public, when thinking of the largest snake on the planet, will think of the green anaconda. And there's no doubt that the green anaconda is a massive snake, and a lot of people would even argue that it's the most girthy snake on the planet and heaviest body. And it's hard to say. I've seen some really big reticulated pythons in my day, but the fact is green anacondas are certainly still in the top three or four, no doubt about it. And of course, my friend Megan Kelly kind of specializes in green anacondas. She's been able to tame them and really work with them well. Now, green anacondas are going to have anywhere from six to 15 live babies typically, every now and then a little bit more. But the fact is, is these guys are almost always aquatic in the wild, found in the Amazon, and these are something that I would always always one day love to see in the wild. Certainly not the longest snake in the world, but one of the largest, no doubt. Now we're getting into the large pythons, and the African rock python, or python sea bay, would certainly be considered one of the large ones. These guys are pretty much all from West Africa all the way down to South Africa. These guys will get 18, 19 foot and are really girthy animals. I actually owned one for about 18 years until she unfortunately passed away from some cancer, but she was a great animal, but man, did she have a hiss on her. When I went in her cage, you could hear her from 200 feet away, just hissing as crazy as it could be. Just listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a great animal. These guys will literally live in burrows in Africa, and the native people sometimes will wrap their legs in leather and shimmy down a hole, let the python grab their leg, and the uh, buddies will pull them out of that hole, and that's the way they harvest their eggs, and unfortunately, sometimes they kill them for their leather. Now, I don't condone that part of it whatsoever, but one day, I think it would be a great experience to see how it would feel to be down in a burrow with a big python like that. The African rock python, certainly one of the largest snakes on the planet. Okay guys, I'm going to cheat a little bit because in reality this snake doesn't actually exist anymore, but it certainly once did, and it's an awesome animal. Of course, the Titanoboa. The Titanoboa lived about 60 million years ago the biggest and longest snake that has ever been discovered. By researching the fossilized vertebrates, researchers have determined that the largest titan boa had a total length of over 42 to 43 feet and weighed 2,500 pounds. That's over a ton. 
Many would think that they hunt like the monarch boa constrictor, but in fact, the titan boa mostly attacked its prey more like a crocodile, slithering up to it halfway submerged and then snapping into its prey with its massive leap. I realize that it's an extinct animal, but I gotta ask you guys, comment down below and tell me, would you ever try to capture a titano boa if you had the opportunity and they were still in existence? Let's say somewhere down in South America, you hear that one was found. Would you go down and try to mess with it? I know I would. A 40 something foot snake, I'm all about that. And then there's the Burmese python. And I'm gonna go ahead and just throw the Indian python in there as well. Although the python Malurus malurus doesn't get quite as large as the Burmese python, they look so similar. The fact is, is that Burmese pythons are certainly in the top three or four largest snakes. My girl Sunshine here is a perfect example. But of course, she's not that big. She's only about 11 or 12 feet, but she could eventually max out at 17 to 19 foot. As a matter of fact, there was a Burmese python in Gurney, Illinois, named Baby that was over 300 pounds. Now that's a huge snake. Used to eat goats, believe it or not. That's insane to me. But again, much like the boa constrictors we talked about earlier, the Burmese python are kind of like the puppy dog of the giant snake world. These guys are typically much more docile than some of the other animals that we've mentioned, as well as the fact that they're a lot slower moving, to be honest with you. You can see how Sunshine is. She's just hanging out with me. Whereas earlier with Lucy, although she hung out with me, it took us about 10 minutes to get her to calm down. Sunshine just came out of the cage and this is how she is. Burmese pythons are a great animal for people that want to keep a really large snake. And I've never been in a situation ever that I felt threatened by these animals. Burmese pythons right, right up there with the coolest snakes on the planet and certainly are some of the largest ones. Back to my girl Lucy here. Again, I told you she was 19 foot long, but she's far from full grown. Retics can easily get 22 or 23 feet in length. And as a matter of fact, there was a really sad story recently where they caught an almost 25 foot reticulated python in Malaysia. That's right, 25 foot. So even though these other snakes we've been talking about are huge snakes, there's no doubt that everyone would say a reticulated python is the longest snake in the world. Now the bummer part about that Malaysian animal was they took it out of the wild. It had probably been there for 20 years growing to that length and unfortunately it died within 24 hours. And that was mainly because they mishandled the animal and it bums me out so much. A beautiful majestic animal like that that would live so many years and probably be one of the biggest snakes ever caught only lasted for 24 hours. That's something that us as humans have to realize. We have to do a better job at. Leave these beautiful animals where they belong and let's talk about conservation in the future. Anyways guys, I hope you have enjoyed these beautiful monster huge snakes as much as I have. There's some majestic animals out there. And whenever I'm working with animals like Lucy or anything else, I'm always Facebooking and tweeting my way through things. So make sure to follow me over at Snake Bites TV or on Instagram at snakebites.tv. Until next week, You've been watching Snake Bites. Hi, I'm Peter Birch, an Aussie bloke who loves wildlife. My respect for nature started when I was a young boy in rural New South Wales. Since then, it's exploded into an obsession. New episodes every Thursday, only on Animal Bites TV.